What's up everybody? Russ with RWGResearch.com here. So uh, this video is a bit interesting. I don't have much, I, uh, I don't have many intro outros to these things, so they're just kind of very interesting. But basically, in this video, uh, I try to fix this uh, wireless uh, 915 megahertz wireless transmission dongle, and um, yeah, so that's where we start. So uh, time lapse. Okay, I've been messing with this for hours, and I'm really, I'm tired. So I bought these wireless uh, 915 megahertz transmitter receiver, right? So it takes a serial connection and just converts it into long range um, 915 megahertz transmission. However, this is a 5 volt unit, that's a 3 volt beagle bone 3.3 volt so I couldn't get it working I tried to make a uh, um, a serial or a uh, voltage divider but I think the transmission coming back isn't high enough voltage to make this work <clears throat> it's not it's not communicating serial so I told Riley the other day well before we get there so what I did is I took a regular USB dongle and connected it to the serial port and it communicates so the the port I'm sending data out on on the BeagleBone which is UART1 is working however it's not working with this right here. Okay, so again, not much context to the end of this, but basically what happened was I realized it's a 5 volt input device, but it's actually putting out 3.3 volt logic level. So I was trying to do a voltage divide or convert on a 3.3 to make it a 3.3, which then make it like 1 point something, which then doesn't work, of course. I didn't know. There wasn't any instructions with this thing, and I didn't really know what I was doing. So I fixed it, basically. Yeah, it's already 3.3, no reason to convert it. Worked just like a charm, but it literally took me days and days to figure out, which is why I was so frustrated in that clip. Figured it out, though. Crazy. And the last part of this video, basically, Riley is wiring up the servos, so some time-lapse, and then some uh, outro with uh, what we did with the first servo that she fixed. Hope you're having fun. This is a bit of an interesting series. After I'm editing all this footage, it's quite interesting how I filmed it. So uh, let me know if you like it, if you don't like it. I mean, I'm going to keep making them anyway, but I'm just kind of curious. It's a little bit random. Cheers.
happy to. <laughs> well, we got pretty close to the end of the book. Not quite there, so you ended up actually putting on some new ends on these old servos. Very good. And you did a good job. <laughs> well, that was actually not too too easy. No, it wasn't. So, and then we glued up the uh, the rods here. So we got these glued up. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, the push rods. Um, so those will be drying. And then, what else did we do? We made this work. Lean it over and show me. Ta -da. So we got. Um, what are these called? Ailerons. Ailerons. So we got those connected. We've got our old school. This is considered an antique, by the way. It's really old. And so is the plane. So hey, you know, that still flies. So right now we're at center. We put it in auto. Of course, we can put it in manual. Put it back in this one so we can see it. So we got a lot of a uh, lot of movement there. Yes, we. Do. That's full movement, and the servo hasn't broken yet. I mean, it is very old servo. It's got to be at least twenty years old. So we can test our servos for 5, 10, 20 minutes to make sure that we don't have any complications. Make sure our servos are actually still going to work. Alright, peace and love. God bless. Read the Bible more and I'll see you soon. This video uh, was taken quite a very long time ago. So this one I just recorded today. It's Saturday night. See ya.